Hello everyone and welcome to my channel my classroom today we will read lesson from the sparrow from english book and now today's lesson is episodes from the missile man's life now who is this missile man okay the missile man is missile man dr apj abdul kalam is called missile man now why it is let that we will come to know when we will read the lesson some persons do such miracles in their lives that they remain famous even after their death it means that some person we remember once they uh, are dead they pass away then also they will be remembered forever because they do so many things in their life so no one can forget them or it is not easy to forget them so dr apj abdul kalam was one of them dr apj abdul kalam is one of them one of them let us read some incidents of his life so let us read what has happened in his life dr apj abdul kalam is regarded as an ideal indian and a source of inspiration for people all over the world here the inspiration means the motivation motivation so dr abdul kalam is regarded as an ideal indian he was a truly indian man and all over the world he, he is a person for the motivation like many people get inspired from his life dr a abdul kalam was born in a small village of rameshwaram Tamil Nadu on 15th October 1931 when the newborn was to be named he received the name of his father Jain Ulaptin so when he was born then he was given a name of his father Jain Ulaptin this is the name of Jain Ulaptin Awal Pakir Jain Ulaptin Abdul Kalam or APJ Abdul Kalam learned to give importance to human values from his father Awal Pakur Jainul Abdin Abdul Kalam learned to give importance to human values from his father means that he learned so many human values from his father his father was such a person that he learned a lot from his father his mother Ashiyamma was a simple and pious lady even his mother also was a very simple lady from his mother he learned good nature and simplicity from his mother also he learned simplicity kalam was a few years old when he started liking the priest who often visited his home when kamal was a uh, kalam was a small child that from that time he used to like priest who often visited his home appa shastri uncle has come he used to say every time the priest of rameshwaram temple came over so whenever the priest of rameshwaram temple used to come to his house he used to call his appa appa shastri uncle has come it means that he used to become very happy kalam still a young boy sat by the side of his father and learned many good things from the meetings between his father and the priest so when priest and his father used to talk kalam also used to sit there to listen what is the chat or what the talk is going on his parents were religious minded but they were not conservative the parents were very religious abdul call your appa food is ready his ammi used to say every evening every day they sat together on the kitchen floor and ate the food spread on the banana leaf before them rice sambar homemade pickle and coconut chutney was the feast that dr kalam loved to eat in his childhood he was greatly influenced by samsuddin one of his cousin samsuddin he was a newspaper hawker at rameshwaram hawker means here that a person who sell something like on a cart or something Rameshwaram Dinamani a Tamil newspaper was in great demand in those days 
Kalam was too young to read. Kalam was very young, yet he used to borrow paper from Samsuddin and go through it every day. But he uh, used to like love reading. So he used to take the newspaper from Samsuddin and go through it every day, whether he could understand or could not. But he loved to read the newspaper. He tried to satisfy his quest for knowledge by looking at the pictures in the newspaper. Quest means search here. He tried to satisfy means whatever he wanted to learn each and everything. And by going through with the newspaper, he learned a lot by seeing the picture. Once he learned to read, he was always surrounded by books. Once he started uh, like reading, once he learned how to read, then he was always surrounded by books. He used to read a lot. Mr. Manikan, his neighbor, often said, Abdul, you are always sitting here in my library. Mr. Manikam, his neighbor, used to uh, tell him, Abdul, you are always sitting here in my library. And Kalam would shyly smile at him. And Kalam would smile at him. Kalam read every book and he could lay his hands on and became a well-read person. Kalam used used to read every book. So, he, when we read a lot, when we read different kinds of books, we get a lot of knowledge for each and everything. In 1939, the word too broke out. Kalam was only 8 years old then. Tamarind seeds were in demand in the market. At that time, tamarind seeds were in the demand. This gave little Kalam an opportunity to earn some money. That time Kalam wanted to earn some money and he got this opportunity that if he sells the tamarind, he will get some money. He started to collect those seeds and sell them. So he started collecting the tamarind seeds and sell them. Thus he earned one anna every day. This was his first earning. You know this, he earned one anna. Now a days we have rupees and pesa. At that time, that pesa used to call the anna. Anna, you can see. Shortly, emergency was declared in India. Shortly, emergency means a something very urgent situation. Due to it, trains began to run non-stop and did not halt at Rameshwaram station. So, because of this emergency, trains were run non-stop. Trains were not stopping at the Rameshwaram station. Earlier, his cousin uplo unloaded the papers from the train, but with the change in the situation, that was not possible. When his cousin Samsuddin, uh, like he was uh, working as a to sell the newspaper, to give the newspaper, he was getting the newspapers from the train. But as trains were not stopping now on the Ramishwam station, it was difficult for him, it was not possible for him. So, because trains were not stopping there and uh, so Samsuddin wanted some help. So, he asked, newspaper bundles used to be thrown from the moving train. Samsuddin realized that he needed help. Samsuddin wanted somebody's help. He asked Kalam, will you be my assistant? Because he needed some help. He said to the boy one day, Kalam, a hard working boy, agreed readily. So, Kalam Though he wanted to work something, he agreed to help the, his cousin Samsuddin. He picked the bundles for his cousin every day and thus earned his first salary. So, because he was helping his uh, cousin, so his cousin used to give him some uh, like Anna at that time. Kalam was very happy and proud to earn money. And that, like that, he learned the value of money. And he was very happy that by working, he is getting some money. So now, from next a paragraph, we will, learn, we will read it in the next part. Next part of this video. Till then, happy learning. Thank you.